Well, I'm going to talk about your health, that's for sure. And I'm going to stress the fact that we have a great deal of choice in our health. Now think of it, back around the turn of the last century, people were living in their 60s and thought that was something. The recent statistics from Stats Canada show that men are catching up with women and living to almost 82 years of age, and that's from birth. If you're already 65 or over, you've got longer to go than that by statistics. But there are three things that are so important, and that is, the first one, heredity. Uh, think of it, there are conditions that we get from our parents, from our grandparents and so on that uh, create some of the diseases we get. Some of them are rare diseases, but that's a factor in our health we can do nothing about. The next thing I want to mention is the medical advances that have occurred over the past uh, century and especially in our lifetime that have made such a tremendous impact on our health. Not living just longer, but living better. And the third and most important thing that I'm going to talk to you about for a couple of minutes is what you can do to make your health better as well. And what you already know, and I'm just going to be reminding you of these things and how important they are. Well, with heredity, you know many of the conditions. Certainly juvenile diabetes is uh, genetically inherited. Certain types of obesity, certain cancers, some rare blood disorders and so on. We can't do much about that. In medical advances, how many of you recognize that chap? Probably before most of your time, but back in 1922, this young doctor just graduated, Frederick Banting, in Canada, in Toronto, discovered insulin. Along with Charles Best, a physiology student, they extracted pancreases from dogs, found out they became diabetics, extracted the hormone within that pancreas material, re-injected it in, and kids who had diabetes at that time were all dead almost by the time they were 20, and they had a terrible death, emaciation and so on. So that is one of the biggest discoveries in the past 100 years, and it came from Canada. Sulfas were discovered in 1935, and by a decade later, we, of course, we had penicillin. The drugs that have been invented over the past number of years, think of Lipitor, the largest selling drug ever in the world, helping to prevent heart attacks. And of course, uh, the diabetic medications, the tablets, chemotherapy, which has come such a long way in not only treating some cancers, but curing some. And the medical advances, think of clean water. We don't think about that, but look at Africa. Look at the, in Zimbabwe and the uh, cholera epidemic. We have clean water, we just take it for granted. That, along with public health issues, all the vaccines. When I graduated, I was treating measles, mumps, chickenpox. My son, who's a doctor, has never seen those conditions. They're, they're all vaccines for kids, and uh, they're no longer a problem. Polio being the big one, of course. Bypass and angioplasty, all the technical things, the MRIs, CAT scans, ultrasounds, none of that was a, a available when you were young. And now, of course, the big one, and I always stress, is colonoscopy. So important because the detection of an early colon polyp can prevent cancer. It's a preventable cancer. It's one of the biggest killers of cancer in people our age. Remember it. Talk to your doctor about it. Okay, let's get on with uh, other uh, types of uh, medical care, the, the physicians, the wonderful hospitals, the great care you get at home, the great care you get down here, all the tests that you can get to pick up early detection of disease, all so important. Now here's what you do. These are the choices you make. And let's start with uh, one of the big ones, avoiding cigarettes. Most of us know that. I see the odd person outside smoking a cigarette so rare now. Everybody our age has learned that this is a big killer. Avoiding excesses, uh, excess sun, use that sunblock when you're down here, especially when you first come down. Uh, excesses in your diet. Remember alcohol, although recent evidence shows that alcohol up to one or two drinks for men a day can help prevent heart disease. Uh, remember that, man. Uh, elevations, be careful of elevations. Elevations are bad if you have heart disease or lung disease. You don't want to go to the Grand Canyon or you don't want to go into mountainous territories. And be careful of uh, excessive fatigue. Avoiding accidents, very important. On the way down here, uh, every year people get into trouble. They, they're not familiar with their surroundings. They trip over their night sheets. 
uh, take a flashlight, uh, they trip over curbs and so on. Our bones are more brittle. We send people back every fall with fractured hips. Even when you get down here, recognize and be aware of your environment. Use night lights and be careful. Knowing your medication, that's very important. You can record all your medication on that sheet I told you about. The names in Canada are different than some of the names in the United States. It'll help the doctor a great deal if you know exactly what the medication is called and, of course, the strength. Uh, keep in mind when you're down here, if you have diabetes or uh, you're on Coumadin, a blood thinner, you have to have those things monitored, do it, and keep a good record to take back to your own doctor. That annual health exam, I said that it's so important in picking up and screening new things, make sure you get it. The doctor can early diagnose some conditions through some of these screening tests that you'll get, whether it be a cardiogram, a colonoscopy, blood work, urinalysis, and so on. Try to uh, time it so you get it soon when you get back. In case there's any change in medication or new investigation the doctor wants to do, it won't render that insurance in the fall unstable because of the three-month waiting period you need. Blood sh sugar, blood pressure control, very important. Uh, uh, just a word about blood pressure. My wife and I have been taking blood pressures out there all day using one of those little cuffs very accurate if you follow the directions carefully. It's so helpful to your doctor when you go back when you're away for so long. Keep a record of it. It helps the doctor decide whether you need medication or whether there need to be changes. Uh, with blood pressure control, of course, exercise and salt restriction. Don't forget those things. You don't need a shaker on the table if you have hypertension. And when you're shopping, be very careful you don't buy a lot of processed foods that contain a lot of salt. Weight control, a challenge for all of us. Uh, try to pay attention to this. It's so important. Don't give up. Uh, keep working at trying to maintain your weight at a normal level or reducing those unwanted pounds. And the reason? Right there. All those conditions, heart disease, osteoarthritis, diabetes, all, and others, all of those are much, much less if you have normal weight. Otherwise, in your diet, keep it balanced. You're so fortunate down in Florida to have all the wonderful fruits and vegetables fresh, very healthy. Uh, and also, of course, you're able to watch those calories. With respect to vitamins, it's easy to remember this. And this is the prevailing attitude, not just mine, because you'll hear so much. A thousand. A thousand for vitamin D, vitamin C, and calcium. Women may be a little bit more in calcium. But remember that whatever you're taking, make sure you get a thousand of those three and 350 of magnesium. Now exercise is really, really important. You're so fortunate also being in sunny Florida. I just came from Toronto and on Saturday uh, up to my knees in snow and cold. Down here you can exercise. The American and the Canadian Heart Association say five, uh, five days a week at least you should have 30 minutes or more of brisk but comfortable exercise. For most of us, it's walking. If you're handicapped to arthritis or whatever, you may choose to use pool exercises or a gym or whatever. Do it. It's so important, and you can do it down here. Keeping mentally active, very important, often not stressed enough. The very fact that you're out here today, you're taking part in things, you're learning things. Are you gay? Are you happy? You should be greeting people. You should be joining things. You can volunteer. You should be in clubs, doing puzzles. Uh, all of this is very, very important, not only in keeping you well, but also in, there's proof that it helps to ward off dementia. Your choices, then, are these. These 10 things are important. It's probably 50% of the outcomes of your health if you follow and try to follow some of these. And if you do, you should have a health and safety winter vacation. Thank you very much.